guys, it's Melissa here from Little Kosher Lunch, and today I wanted to talk about lunchbox treats. I know some of you are bakers and inclined to make your own, and some of you are really busy parents who just don't have the time. So I'm gonna be sharing with you a few of our favorite treats that we've been eating this summer and that surely I'll be packing into the fall. And some of these items are purchasable and some of them were homemade. So let's quickly review some of those lunches and the treats that my kids love the best. Starting with the store-bought treats, I wanted to show you a few packages that I buy in a family size, and I will use these little treats as a single item in the center compartment of my lunchbox. If you give freeze-dried strawberries to most kids, they will eat the entire package, which is usually very expensive. Doling these out piece by piece, buying the family size. This is the generic brand from Ralph's or Kroger's. Mini Oreos or mini cookies, it's a generic one. I'm also getting these little miniature fruit leather squares from Matt's Munchies. They're like an organic, very nice brand. Those come on a large sheet and I just cut one little square of fruit leather out, pop it in my treat compartment of the Planet Box, and we're good to go. And this is my maple sugar candy that I picked up while we were away on vacation back east. And so these also are a store-bought or orderable treat if you so choose. These came from the Vermont Country Store. As you know, I do like to make things from scratch or pack as healthy as possible for my kids, but healthy and sweet can still go together. One of the things I'm often doing is packing in-season fruits and almost like a fruit fruit medley so that you're getting a lot of fruit diversity, a lot of different flavors or colors, and just a lot of color contrast in the lunchbox. So this summer I was doing things like packing multiple colors of plums. Into September you're still going to see those beautiful plums in colors like yellow and red and blackish purple, and those my kids really liked when they got a slice of each color in their lunch. I'm also doing fruit medleys or a fruit salad, things like berries and cherries, you might start packing apples and grapes. You're gonna get all those great locally grown grapes towards the end of summer into fall, so those are a wonderful option to mix it up in a fruit salad. Other treats that I'm packing are the cooked versions of those fruits. Miniature plum cobblers were an amazing concoction this summer, you guys. And I did a whole tray with reusable silicone muffin cups. You can also use a paper muffin cup. And I just put my fruit in, I tossed it lightly with flour, and I put a crumble topping over top. So those were individually portioned. I let my kids have them for breakfast if they want. I let my kids have them after dinner as a dessert. And I put them in their lunch boxes, and those were used up right away using seasonal in season fruit. The other individually portioned treat that I made this summer for my kids was Jell-O. And Jell-O, you guys, has come a long way since we were kids. I do like using the packaged Jell-O. You can also get the vegan kind of Jell-O, kosher Jell-O, or I really love the unflavored gelatin that you could combine with a natural fruit juice. I did Jell-O in really fun Jell-O molds this summer, little heart shapes using just a traditional red raspberry Jell-O. I put mandarin oranges from a can in it, and my kids loved it. Now, Jell-O in a lunchbox is a little bit dicey, so I might recommend Jell-O for after-school treats or in a box that you bring when you come to pick up at school. Keep it really, really chilled and cold. You may even serve it in the chilled container that you molded it in rather than unmolding. I like to take risks, so I unmolded mine one day, but um, in the summer it's a little dicey. The last treat that I wanted to leave you with, which is really great if you're at a nut-free school, is homemade granola bars. I know that I have a lot of anxiety about packing a lunch that is nut-free considering the number of kids in our school with allergies. I use the Weelicious recipe, and I'll see if I can link it down below for you. The beauty of this recipe is that I asked my kids what do you want to have in it? And we chose from an assortment of dried fruits that we had on hand. You can control the amount of sugar, you can control the dried fruits that you put in it, and then you can cut them to the size that is right for your child. I even made them little tiny bite-sized bars, and probably most of all my husband really, really loved these granola bars. Those are just a few recent desserts that I'm packing as a treat in my lunch boxes. I know that you guys have some tricks up your sleeves, and I'd love to hear from you. Thank you for being here. Like this video if you liked it, and I would be honored if if you'd hit the subscribe button if you're new to my channel. Thanks so much and have a great year of packing lunches. Take care.